Ahoy mateys and welcome back to the Pirates at Wells gameplay series. I know it's been a while, but I'm finally back. I've got some time to make some videos now. Thanks to the thanks to the winter break. I hope to get out a few more. But yeah, today we are finally playing Doctor on Portalesia, actually, since that update came out pretty recently. There's an entirely new area with a really interesting mechanic on how to get there. You gotta find portals on other maps on stage two. And through them, you'll end up on the only, the single stage of Portalesia. Actually, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Portalesia, Portalesia, whatever. Just don't mind me. <laughs> but yeah, today we're playing Doctor. Um, he's a very interesting and very powerful and very fun character. Uh, I've actually put him in S tier on my tier list. I think he's, I think I put him in third place. And yeah, that sounds about right. Uh, for each card in your deck, he increases his max HP by one. It's pretty negligible. It doesn't do a lot. You can't get healing in battle. That one's important, but you can negate it quite a lot with the amount of HP you can get in other, by other means. You have no armor limit, which means that you can make some really fun armor builds where you stack up tons and tons of armor, deal damage equal to your armor to enemies, and just one-shot them. Uh, and when your HP becomes zero, you become a pile of bones, and then after one turn you'll revive, losing 10 max HP. So yeah, this is the way you kind of negate the fact that you can't heal, because you will revive despite the fact you can't heal with a lot of HP, if you already had a lot before. And you kind of exponentially gain HP the more you gain more HP. Like, if you're getting another 10 HP while you only have 10, it's not as valuable as like if you gained 10 HP while you had 100 or so. Because that next life you'll have will have way more HP to spend. And your attacks will also reduce the max HP of the enemies to their current HP, which is actually very interesting because it allows you to cheese a lot of bosses um, in one of two ways. Either if it's a boss that's difficult because they normally heal a lot, like the Sentinels, well, they won't be able to heal because they're always at full HP if you're hitting them with normal attacks. Or if they have a phase like of their boss fight that starts at when they're half HP, you'll never make it to half HP, and you'll never have to deal with that phase. What was that? <laughs> I wonder if you heard that. That was a really interesting uh, audio glitch kind of thing there. Anyways, yeah, let's go over his deck. Crow Blast, Crow Blast. Um, they're the same thing as Shovel Strike, but they cost Nemo and they're ranged. They all deal six damage, but also instead they deal six more if you have no armor, which is really, really powerful. So not only can Doctor make the heavy armor builds, he can make low armor builds where he tries to have no armor at the start of his turn and just play these cards for a lot of damage, one-shotting enemies before they can even attack. And it's actually a really strong build, surprisingly, because he's also got a lot, of another, a lot of other cards that synergize a lot with that, because Revival Reload, suddenly you won't have to worry about upgrading your ammo if you're playing that build, because you can just reload at the start of your turn and have two per each of these, which is your perfect ammo balance, which is actually making a perfect ammo balance, because... Absolution also costs less ammo, improving your ammo balance if you do that as well. And it's also just a really good block card. 8 armor, when you upgrade it, it becomes 11. That's really good. That's Most block cards start off at like 6 in people's base decks, go to like 9, but no, you got 8 and 11, which is which is really nice. Fire Purification. This card, a card, deal damage equal to armor to a random enemy. That's your way to kind of do the block build. Which honestly, I'd say is a bit less consistent in Navigate, but it's still definitely doable and still really fun and powerful when you get it going. Death Ritual is just a really bad card. You make the enemy lose 20% of their max HP with a maximum of doing 30 damage. However, I don't know, it's only ever going to do a lot against bosses. Most enemies will take like 2, 3, 4 damage from it. And it costs ammo, which is just not good. So thankfully it's removed, so you kind of have to worry about it. It might be worth upgrading eventually in the future, but I don't know. It's not really that great. It'd, you'd be better off removing it, probably. Uh, for the packages, um, I gotta pick all of them individually again, because I forgot. I haven't enabled specific ones on mods right here. Um, gonna enable this the cost package. Demonic Blade is just really good with Doctor, because another thing I forgot to mention. At Taverns, since he can't heal, he instead can pay 25, well, no, 30, to gain 3 max HP, which is really nice. You can get tons and tons of max HP with him, so Demonic Blade becomes pretty good. And also, you just got some other decent things in this package. Not Scorching Shell, that one's bad, but these two are pretty decent. 
the other packages, I would also maybe go with Brawler, just so you can get Pinata. Because Doctor does not do very well with injury because it penetrates his armor, so you can kind of negate that. It's just a decent relic for any character that does not that does not have any status change in their base deck. And I think that might be all I usually do with Doctor, yeah. I um sometimes I put this package on because Till's in a bottle. He does have a discarding card in his base deck. I'll put that on just for fun because it's not actually that bad either. And oh another thing I thought I'd mention. I haven't made an update on this in a while, but Ship has gotten some really nice changes. Someone from the Discord known as Drunk Captain has gone ahead and made art for all of the cards in the in my mod character Ship's base deck. And it looks really fantastic. I'm so I'm so happy with it. And not only that, but they've also made a whole bunch of skins, one for every single area in the game, including Portalesia, which is incredible actually they put so much effort into this i'm so thankful so yeah if you haven't already played this character and you have the steam edition of this game go ahead and try it it looks really polished now i'm super happy about it anyways let's go back to doctor one last thing with ship upgrades you definitely want to have lantern upgrade because like i said you can gain lots of max hp from taverns and this just gives you way more as well because it makes it cheaper makes it so it doesn't increase in price you can just start you can just dump all of your money into that and get a ton of max hp which is really cool so i'm going to start off in eastern seas first of all um i'd like to mention that not every area leads into portalesia um only eastern seas um lost islands souls rift and pirates bay do and not all of them are guaranteed to get to let you in. For Pirates Bay and Lost Islands, you need to have the Shiny Water Relic to get in. And for Souls Rift, you need to pay HP. But Eastern Seas, you can pay a little bit of money, but you also have the option to go in and just have to fight a, a mini boss later on. You can just get in for free. So I'm going to do that. We are guaranteed to get to Port Elysia if we go to Eastern Seas, which is why I like starting off in here. It's also got some really decent cards, especially the ones that have additional effects against non-human enemies, because every enemy in Port Legia is non-human, so that's pretty cool. Clam? Heal to whenever you lose all armor? I might go with the no armor build then, and play cards that take away my armor. It's pretty decent to have. Oh wait, no, but you don't heal with the Doctor, so... You know what? Never mind, that's just a sell. I'm not going to take that into account. And look at that. I can just block everything there. I like Absolution a lot with this character. And you know what? I'm going to block a bit more so I don't take as much HP damage. And see if I can win this turn. Actually, I do. Just barely. Alright, and here we have the option of Stand Together. An actually really good armor card. But, I don't know. I can't say no to Relic, so I'm just going to take this and sell it. Because right now, we have a lot of money already, so that means... Upgrading our deck, our base deck a lot, and if you only have money in your base deck, you can really easily make the no armor build just by upgrading these attack cards. I'm going to stop by removing fire purification. I'm going to go for that. I kind of wanted to from the beginning. It's just a really fun build. Um, I'm going to upgrade Shovel Strike here. Um, I'm not going to go for another. It's too expensive. I like having lots of money. And here we, I guess we play Death Ritual. It's really just free. And we can block all of that damage. Well, not all of it, but all of the block is removed, which is also really important if you're doing the normal build. But I will block here just to minimize the damage you take in this fight. Yeah, I definitely want to find some cards that remove all of my own armor. Things like All In or Relics as well that do that, or just anything. There's also some block cards in Pirate's Bay that do that. Oh, now you know what? I'm wishing I took Stand Together, because Stand Together and Explosive Armor is a really good combo. But it's too late. I'm just going to take a bag of tips here. Going to bet 50 coins like I always do. Max HP, I'm not disappointed about that. It's just a slightly worse rate than if you were to do that at taverns, so it's not too bad. Um, I'm going to upgrade a Shovel Strike here again. 
And I'm not going to remove my range cards like I do with other characters usually. I'm just going to keep them because they're still really good damage. And I'm going to remove a death ritual, I think. Just get that out of the way. I want to end fights early, and having that handcuff in the first deck rotation actually is pretty bad. Fisherman's Ring, I always... Well, I don't... I, I wouldn't want to do that fight there, because there's just no benefit to it. The other option was fighting a tough enemy to get a healing relic. That once you get healed by it, it decreases in price, so I'd rather just have this and sell it than the other one. And here I'm going to... Um, hmm, I think if I seal it, I keep the boss I have, but if I enter it, I'd get an even harder boss, so I'm going to do that. But it won't really matter too much, because we're just leaving this area anyways pretty soon. And I'll take Thirst of Mark, actually. Having Mark with his character is really good in this melee and ranged build. So yeah, that's pretty good. Um, I will not... Uh, no, I, I will upgrade this thing. I barely have enough money to, actually. I just realized. And it won't matter, because we're just going to sell both of these. And we'll have money again. I don't think I'll remove anything. Our deck is already looking really solid. We can discard our consumable, make that actually a little bit better. And yeah, do a lot of damage. Three cards upgraded in the base deck, pretty good. All right, uh, I'm gonna start with, oh yeah, this is actually gonna be a breeze of a fight because this boss here, whenever you hit her twice in a turn, she becomes invulnerable for the rest of it. But we're just doing big single hits, so that won't matter. So that is very helpful. I wanna take out these enemies here as fast as I can. They're really dangerous. So that, especially that guy, before I actually go to her, because she doesn't respawn the enemies, surprisingly, like most of these enemy spawning bosses do. And here, just use the weakest one. Um, I guess there's no point in marking here. Also, I guess a little detail I didn't really mention. At the end of boss fights, you do heal back to full as Doctor. So, he does get healing out of battle if there's ever a chance. But most of those chances are replaced by gaining max HP anyways. That's even in events and things that would normally gain you HP. Oh, also, I just realized, I took Harvest. I am really dumb. That <laughs> Harvest does nothing. I have just been blind to that this entire time. See, I'm just going to play Harvest, get it out of the way as soon as I can. It won't hurt me, but yeah, that was really pointless. Oh yeah, I can't hit you while you're like that. Okay, well, it didn't matter for this fight. We're at full HP again. Oh, Heart Attack. This is Doctor's Quest card. It's actually really good with the Nora build because all enemies will always be at full HP. So you'll just stun all of them for one ammo. And they won't heal 10 as well because they're at max HP. And yeah, it's just a pretty good card. I'll take it. So now we got to look out for how we get the Portal Asia. There's going to be an event in here. This one here. That's the portal. So that's where we got to make it to. We're actually pretty lucky that it's far into the map because hitting more stops... Stops before we get there. There's a chance to improve our deck, kind of like a Maelstrom would. So, yeah, that's pretty lucky. So we'll go, I think, the left path. I I don't know about this. You know what, though? That's a need to cost relic. I'll just take it and sell it right there. You know what? Let's do it. I think we can take on a crew battle, especially with heart attack here. And actually, how do we block this? Five... 12, 17, um, we'll take one damage, actually, that's pretty good, because we'll be out of block here. Uh, I could have won that turn if I marked, I think. Oh well. Uh, well, now I win, doing mark. That's what I meant to do. Um, okay, if we are getting the the ammo box upgrade, though, did I even... Wait a minute. How am I getting that? I didn't put on that pack, did I? I thought I put on the, the Fabled pack. I didn't think I had that one on. That's weird. Oh, wait, what? 
This one too? I definitely did not have the toast package on. I wonder why that changed. Didn't have that was not intentional. That's weird. But mm, still don't want that. Although do I? Hmm. Defense without having to use block in the normal build is actually pretty decent. So you know what? I think I will take this. See how it goes, especially with this relic coming up here, which does increase our maximum ammo, so we could get even more from that. So, you know what? I'll try that. Get to do it there, block everything. Um, <laughs> two damage, nice. I won't even play Absolution, because I want to keep my ammo in case I get a range card like that here, yeah. There we go. And I'll take the Sacred Book here. It's just going to be sold really soon anyways. Right after this here. Normally I won't keep it though, because it is really risky. If you still have it by the time it runs out, it ends up giving you the Cursed Book. Which, if you've ever done that quest... Really not fun. Not a fun one to have. I could have killed there as well. I keep forgetting the mark will take away their dodge. <laughs> oh well. There we go. That should kill, yeah. I just do that. Oh, that's right. This is crew battle. Um. All right then. Still have enough block for this. Fifteen though. Hmm. Who can I kill here? Nobody. Oh no. Guess we use a revive. Unfortunately, I'll take this as an opportunity to block up a bit more. Reload. Thankfully, you didn't get, like, all attacks on that turn, because you can't attack while you're in a pile of bones. Now we're at 34 instead of 44, which sucks, but I think we do finish this fight. It's alright. We have a lot of money. We can just we can just gain max HP at the next tavern. Um, I will go for the crit here. I need to end this fight as fast as I can. Oh no, don't tell me we were five. Oh no. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't have done the crew battle. Three really high damage enemies at once. Not good. But he does die here. That helps out. Oh wait, I gotta kill this guy. That's even more damage. Oh, that sucks. And he crits on enemies with... Well, on players with injury, so... Yeah. Oh, we don't survive this either, do we? Oh, oh no. We still win, though, I think. Mm, 14 HP. Not great, but we are selling these relics to repair that a bit. Not worth it, though. Powder box, not keeping that. I'm just going to sell that and gain max HP as soon as I can. Um, I don't want the Clover. It won't even work with this character since I can't revive besides my own passive. I'm going to sell both of these. And I need HP. So yeah, as you can see, Lantern helps us a lot. A lot. We're at 59 now. Back up high again. And we're... Pretty good now. Um, I will actually go for this four upgrades here. I don't mind having a curse for a little bit. Actually, I will take the curse into Portalesia. Oh, I should have repaired my AP at the tavern. Kind of forgot about that. Um, yep, I have another bit of a misplay, but we might still make it in Portalesia. They do tend to have taverns pretty early on, so I think we're fine. However, I will still go for these. See what we get. 
Upgrades for cards. Yep, yep. All those are good. Those are all pretty good. Thanks for that, Plague. <laughs> I'll use that. A little preemptive blocking, I guess. You could call that. Mm, I will go for this. That sounds pretty good. Perfect. Take eight, block eight, and we're good. All right, now we got, um, don't want that, but coconut tree though. Gain time armor, lose armor at the start of your next turn. That's actually really good. Can It just basically guarantees we're out of block in the next turn, which is what we want pretty much with this character. Um, I will mark here. And heart attack, not block up here. Um, I can kill you and seal of strength are just two. Ooh, it got marked. Oh, it doesn't matter. I deal just enough to take her out. Okay. Um, fifteen AP, not not nice, but I can. I guess whirlwind. This doesn't help me because I cannot heal. I don't have multi-hits already, but although it is upgraded. Mm. Still no, I just think I'd take a multi-hit in case I can buff that damage. Oh, huh. Offering food. There are different offerings that you'll get just randomly. Sometimes you offer money, sometimes you offer AP, sometimes you offer food, which is... Probably what I didn't want here because we're doctor, but I'll do it anyways because, no, no, all for nothing. So you can see the mini boss fight later on. And here is Portlesia. We're finally here. Our boss is the turret uh, 2A. And it's a really long, really, really long area. It kind of is almost a length of two whole different areas with one boss at the end. And this will be the rest of our run. That's where it ends right here. And I think I like to look at the left path going left a bit. Oh, wait. I forgot to look for a tavern. Um, I think I still have the option of going either way. <laughs> and yeah, these are the... You might recognize these enemies if you ever did the Doctor Quest. Or if you haven't been if you haven't been to Port Legia, that is. Um, they all have 25% lifesteal, which is a really interesting thing to see on the enemies here. And they will have wild when I kill them. You can see that they changed their uh, attack right there. But I will stun and block up. Guarantee that I block up fully and have no armor here. Don't mind getting plagued while I have no ammo anyways. Um, I will discard the plague for the mark. Do that. Probably could have marked the enemy in the back, actually. I'll just take three instead of blocking and being at one block. Yeah, definitely worth it. Uh, see what I can do here. No, I miss. Won't block. I'll win this turn, probably. Actually, will I, though? I will. Okay. Oh, here. Ooh. Mm. You can reload one if you're in a negative condition. Not really. I don't think I'd use that much. A golden cup is just a lot of max HP. Oh, perfect! I make it to the tavern just in time. Oh, that makes me really happy. All right, here I will do my attacks, then I'll absolution, and then I'll seal of strength. Six and four. I'll be at a one block, but I'll block everything at least. I can do this. Yeah, good turn. Oh, yeah, these are the clockwork enemies. They all have a countdown towards an action that they'll do during your turn, which is interesting. Uh, I forget what all... I haven't really written down what all of them do. I kept track of it in my head or anything. Except for a few of them that I do remember, because they're kind of important. This guy I know just attacks you for like 7 damage, I think. 
think the other one we had there just weakens us. I can't remember if I saw that or not, but I'm pretty sure that's what it does. Um, and here, I'll reroll Pearl. Sure, uh, upgrading cards in the market becomes an upgrade for a random card, but the price does not increase. I still haven't been able to use that, but I think our deck's mostly upgraded anyways, so it won't really do a lot. Actually, no, there's four upgrades. I might try that out. No, five upgrades. Yeah, I'm going to try that out. And definitely got to go here. Barely make it. Repair that. I'm going to gain a bit more max HP just to be at 70. And I won't remove any... Oh, no, I will remove Plague. <laughs> and I'll go for the event and continue along the left path, I think. Oh, I get to pick between these books. They're all pretty decent cards. They're really good with ship, actually, all of them. Because they all require you to have more cards in your deck. I think Science Book is the best one, though. It lets you search to draw pile for a card. And you might get to draw another card as well, if you have enough cards in your deck. History book's also not bad, but I don't think art book was any that good. Or was any good. I'll keep hard attack for later. It doesn't seem needed right now. I'll just science book for... Definitely not a marking card. Um... I guess I want to... What do I even do here? Because I'll just take a crow blast for now, because we have ammo to spend. <laughs> Alright. I don't mind taking these small amounts of damage on my HP at all. Like, I might... It might mean I go through one revive throughout the entire area at some point. But I think it's worth it, because if I wasn't playing this this way, where I leave myself with that armor, I'd probably be taking a lot longer on fights and losing even more overall, I think. This card is really good with ship, actually. It's 13 damage ranged, but you discard a card and return it to your hand if you did that. Um... So yeah, that just goes infinite with with ship. If you have a uh, drop anchor and 20 cards in your deck, uh, discarding it will reload you one, return both of them to your hand, and you can just repeat forever. Which I want to do sometime, that sounds kind of fun. Um, I'm not trying to lose a lot of HP, so I'm not going to use that. But I've never actually seen this card before. It's kind of interesting. <laughs> Take another Whirlwind, I guess. We still have a chance at getting damage buffs, so maybe that'll work out. With two of those in our deck, I guess. Who knows? I should have marked. Actually would have killed there. <sighs> What's the point of having Mark if I forget to use it every single time? Uh, here, let's actually think about what I'm doing. Uh, I think I want a Coconut Tree and Seal of Strength together. And no, Absolution first. I think that's it. Actually, I didn't need to use Absolution. It didn't matter though. Just meant I didn't have to do as much math. And let's go for... I guess just a shovel strike. Um, here we go. Guard of Absolution. Crit on that. Oh, don't even need a coconut tree. That's pretty good. And that will just kill. Okay. Here, oh. I mask definitely the play. If you can crit on that 15 damage card, becomes 30. That's pretty good. Um, oh, this is another mini boss in this area. Not the one that I got because of going through without offering at Eastern Seas, but still a really difficult one nonetheless. You need to have a really good ammo balance, or else you probably just want to take the curse. If you have bad ammo balance, this boss just exploits it, and you will die. Guaranteed. Oh, yeah, that's a crit. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to see the strength just to make this longer fight a little bit easier. 
I do get injury, but this madness curse is the worst part of it by far. Um, thankfully, I'm reloading when I get those. I'm taking damage though. It's not good. Ooh. Yeah, you want to play these because if you don't, if you don't play them to remove them, they duplicate themselves when they leave your hand at the end of the turn, and they lose three HP whenever you don't do that as well. So it just spirals and spirals if you don't have any way to remove them. Ooh, we're gonna die to that injury, I think. Okay, then. Do I mark myself to get rid of it, actually? <laughs> actually. I wanna. I shouldn't have played that. I should have played these all first. What am I thinking? That's unfortunate, I guess. But I'm gonna mark myself. Look at that. Mark doesn't even matter, it just goes away. I don't have to revive. Although I'll be forced to when I take injury this turn. Yep. Alright. I can block up, though. And hey, it's alright. We're still at 60 HP. Still really good. I want to kill you. Just so I take less injury this whole long fight. Alright, that'll work. There we go. I uh, won't absolution here. Do I have ammo in the future? I think I did get it. Thankfully, wow. Okay. I'm not gonna spend it. I need to save it for the next madness. Yeah. I mean, no point in marking. I think we win this. I think we win this. Um, science book for the crit wins this turn. There we go. And we regain our senses, and we get firm will, uh, removes our negative conditions and all curses in our hand, and for each curse you remove, you draw a card. You know what though? It's not a good card in my mind. Like our boss won't give us curses. I mean, we're not playing curses in our main deck. And just one single card to remove your negative condition. Why would you not just use a positive condition gaining card? There's just no point. I'm just going to skip it. Um, going to keep both of those. Not remove anything. Not spend max HP. I'm just going to upgrade here. Oh, that's right. It's the upgrade one random card. Why is it not reduced in price, though? I do have the... Market upgrade. That's weird. Not as good as I thought. Unless it's a bug. I guess it might be. Let's do it though. Heart attack. What's the upgraded version of that do again? Stun them if, if they have full HP, they only heal 10 removed. What was the difference? Oh, it costed 1, now it costs 0. Okay. Still, this is not bad. Oh, this is a really interesting I mean, It's an elite. Um, does counterattack melee, and it has a countdown with its clockwork ability. And when that counts down to zero, it switches from melee to range counterattack and range to melee if it's in one of those. And so we can't use our melee cards here, which sucks. I think he deals damage equal to the amount you deal to him, kind of like the arena enemies do. So we're just going to seal his strength and leave him alone. Um, I can ranged right now. Only counterattacks the melee ones. And I'll science book for the other ranged. And now it's melee. Or no, it's now it's ranged, so we can play our melees. Um I'll stall a bit. Get these melee cards in. First one deals double damage. And leave him alone. Counterattacks the range, we'll just play a melee. 
and then arranged. I could have crit there. Whoops. Uh, too bad. Nice counterattack and melee, but counterattacks don't work if they're if they die on the same hit. So I can just safely do that. It's good information to know. I'll take rusty anchor. Um, here I think the best option is to seal the strength for three actually, and then whirlwind, and then heart attack. Actually, really, maybe Whirlwind wasn't actually the best, because I did get a crit on it when I really didn't need to. Um, don't want to block up. I'll take four. It's fine. Uh, here I can crit and kill this guy here. And block up as much of that as I can. Oh, uh... Mark you, and that kills. There we go. Um, here, shovel blow. I actually would make firm will pretty good, you know. Too bad though. Um, salvage though, just a really good card. We do have demo for it, I think. Oh, I love this fight. It's another mini boss fight. Um, you get the gravity, anom gravity anomaly curse at the start of the battle, and whenever the countdown runs out, what it does is whenever you play a card, you discard a random one, which is really bad. But you can also just discard the gravity anomaly sometimes. So just start with playing the most important cards, which is this. Oh, discard it. Good. Um, I will play Absolution and Heart Attack. He does do a lot of skill damage, which is annoying for some characters like Chicken, so... That's really dangerous. I don't think you have an option to not fight as well, which sucks. So chicken runs just come to an end at this boss. Uh, what do I want? I guess I want... Ooh, ooh. Are you on there? I think I want block. Oh, I don't have block. I guess I'll just take salvage? No, I don't have... Hmm. I guess I take this. Oh, I don't need block at all. But I'm going to Coconut Tree to get rid of all of it later on. And I'll do that. Okay, that's, I think, the right play. Oh, you take you attack again. Seal of Strength? Seal of, Seal of Strength does literally nothing here because it's skill damage as well. So I just won't even bother to play it. I'll play it now just to remove it, actually. Might have to use a revive on this fight, turns out. I think he attacks next turn, so I'm just going to preemptively block up there. Yeah. Kind of reload. Do that. Um. Interesting. I don't have a lot of block here. Don't think I die, though. Oh, Gravity Anomaly again. Okay. Absolution, then Coconut Tree. I do die. Bad math. Okay. Um, guess I just reload. Can't attack. 69 HP, though. I can deal with that. Oh, perfect. Discard the right one. The salvage. Maybe even get the finishing attacks. Guess I don't, but I'll just block. Mm, there we go. And look at this. This is such a good relic. Okay. The start of the battle applies mark to all the non-heavy enemies and change them to heavy, which is most enemies in the game. You're just going to mark straight off the bat. So that's actually perfect for our build. We can just turn one a lot of fights now without any problems. I'll upgrade this again. I still, I still really want a, just a plain damage buff my whirlwinds here yeah look at that oh love it it doesn't really matter that we're not moving these enemies anymore heavy not a big deal hmm. i'll save strength 
I actually don't mind that card too much, especially in more, especially in longer fights. I don't know. I played that. I actually did not need that. <laughs> I could have marked as well. All right, whatever. Misplays. Ah. It always takes me like a split longer, <laughs> a split second longer than it takes to play them to realize I made a mistake. And that's not great. Oh, actually, no, is it though? No, okay, it's no, it's not great. <laughs> can't even heal. But I was thinking for a moment, since enemies can't heal, it would be good. But no, it just does nothing at all. Um. Inspire can't heal either. Break weapon, just a bad card. So I'm gonna reroll. Um, at least these are good cards. But do I, how many skills do I have? Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, ten. Okay, that's actually pretty decent. It's not really gonna whiff too often, so I'm just gonna take that. Um, just do this. I don't know what these guys. Oh, I know this one heals everybody to full at the end of this cooldown. Or maybe it's this one, I forget. But, no, it's this one because it's support. But it doesn't matter. They just can't heal. I'll mark you so you get marked later on, too. Discard that. Heart attack. Have Mark carry over this turn and win. Conch? Hmm. Not a card I really, or not a relic I really want to have, but I only have to bear with it for a single fight. So I'll take it and sell it later. I mean, that's for a single fight unless I have to face off against the other, the other mini boss. I might actually have to because there's two events. It's not a big deal, though. It's still blocking me. It's still good. It just means less damage. Ooh. Hmm. Not again. Um, I'm going to Coconut Tree and then Bookmark. Only one card? Ow. Okay. Oh, that's what that one does. That that's this one. Oh, really? I had that wrong. Okay, I guess I'll remember that because it looks like it has tentacles, but that's a brutal curse. Okay. I guess I didn't really look at what the curse did in case you don't know, but it just makes you can't play any cards that whole turn, and it's removed at the end of it. Okay, why are you blocking everything? Wow. Alright, gotta kill with very few cards right now. Oh my god, the conch. Alright, I can play two cards here. I'll play this and this. Alright, at least I got that damage before I gained the block. Can we block at all? That's pretty lucky. This would be a lot harder if you didn't have Seal of Strength. Uh, Booster Strike? Just a really good card. I'll take that. Sure. Do we get the max each? Oh, God. Oh, wait, no. That's... The fish is poisonous. You lose HP, but you gain max HP. How does that work out logically? We gain max HP. That's actually better than losing the 10, I think, right? Okay. All right. Oh. Oh, I hate this event. Okay. The crew wants to give up, frightened by the natural events that happen here. Come on. You're almost at the end. Come on. Okay. Well, don't want to spend 20 HP. 
I have enough money to just convince them. Although, how? Wait, that eight, that fifty coins would also just give us twenty. Sorry, two tavern heals, which is six max HP. Is that better than twenty HP? You know, I don't think so. I get determination. Oh, that's really bad. It would be good in like any other character, but. I guess that was not the right move. Okay. Uh, sell Conch. Sell Rusty Anchor. Sell Pearl. Uh, remove nothing, actually. Do I? Yeah, I don't remove anything. We're just going to heal as much as we can. 81. Uh, do I sell the Gravity Gem, though? Actually, no, I don't, because this fight has three enemies, so they'll all take it, and they'll all just die really quickly. Also, I guess I should probably sell Eye Mask since I already get crits on my first melee card a lot of the time. And I'll just heal a bit more. And let's go. So this is a really tough boss too. Oh wait, this is... Oh, it's only two enemies. I forgot. Because this is just one. But, um, countdown to 20. Where it deals a ton of damage at once to us. So, yeah, we gotta kill things really quickly. This one here, thankfully, dies before it explodes, but it also does the same thing. And I'll just permanently reduce your uh, damage by three. Um... I think I have a science book. For booster strike. I don't know why I did that. I don't know. Um, block? I'm not sure what I'm doing. What is the right way to play this fight? I, okay, I can tell you for sure that was not the right play to, way to play that fight there. Um... Heart attack yet? I guess I should at some point. Why not now? Booster. I'm gonna bookmark, see if I can... Oh, I just take the thing here. Alright, 27 damage. That's how much it deals. Okay, then. I'm gonna save this block. I think I'll block everything next time it attacks. It's not, still, it's not attacking though. It's not taking much damage. This could be a longer fight. So I wanted some damage buffs for those cards. Alright, Booster Strike I think is the re only reason this isn't going to take forever. It'll just eventually scale for a ton of damage. I think that's why we'll actually win this within reasonable time. I might have to speed this up for you guys, though. This will be a long fight, and I think we do fine in it. It's just taking forever. Booster Strike, 17 damage. Uh, discard... The block, mark, and... Oh, we don't have the ammo. Too bad. Oh, please, no, we have to... Oh. You know what, though? How about I just play this and don't block? I'll kill next turn. Yes! That was the play. Right, we gotta block a bit more for this though. Okay, but I, I got a booster strike. <laughs> Doesn't matter, we can't block at all, so we'll take 27. Might have to revive, but we'll revive to 70 next time, so I'm not worried. I'm gonna block and turn. Kill this next turn with. Alright, I guess that in a whirlwind. Oh, I have no cards. That was a waste. Block it all. 
Thanks for the reel. I need that. Okay. Uh, we're actually doing all right. That kills. Oh my god, the big booster strike is coming along. I'm glad I took that for this fight. Uh, let's block up a bunch before we take the big 27. Oh, it doesn't matter. We just revive. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Uh, um, salvage before I get block? Yes. Oh, wow. Big damage turn. Okay. Ooh. Nice. Oh, another booster check. Maybe we'll go for the mark again. Didn't get it. Too bad. Uh, gonna absolution again. Actually, that was not too great. Nah, I still don't regret doing it. We need to get the block for this. Um. Okay, it'll remove all our block in one turn. We can do the big damage right now. I'm going to bookmark first. Discard it. Oh, it doesn't get marked. Oh, that was unobservant again. Okay, uh... I think I booster strike you. 15 to you. Block everything here. We'll lose our four intentionally to deal more here. Should have gone for the mark, or no, I wouldn't have it wouldn't have mattered. Gotta block up though. Perfect. Yeah, that big damage is coming very soon. Hopefully get another absolution. Oh, and a coconut tree. I can do that. And then this block it. Oh, yes. And then lose it all right now. Because I did the coconut tree. Yes. Okay. Oh, I can mark. Oh, I can mark and booster strike if I can kill this right now. I can. It doesn't kill, but it comes really close. Five. Look at that. There we go. Run finished with Doctor in Port Elysia. Um, yeah, that was... That's Doctor. People underestimate the power of the melee and ranged build. The, the no armor build. That's what I like to call it, I guess. It just did so much damage. And, I mean, both builds do a lot of damage. But the other benefit of this one is... You can do it with pretty much only base deck cards. And a few other things you might find along the way... But you really don't need them. Like you're still just doing, you're just you're still just upgrading your base deck, pretty much adding nothing besides what you already have, and just increasing your damage with upgrades and removals. And yeah, you can just you don't need much else. And if you have a lot of money and nothing else to spend it on, you just sink it into HP, and that carries you a long way as well. So yeah, he's just a really consistent character with a really decent build. You can get every single game easily, and also other options as well, like plenty of synergies. Anything with block works really well. Anything without block works really well. Yeah, that's Doctor for you. I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope you learned a bit more about Doctor, and yeah, see you guys in the next one.